Hello everyone, welcome to this video. So in this video I'm going to show you how to place four squares next to each other using CSS. So there is going to be one easiest way that I'm going to show you now. So what I'm going to do now is inside of the body tag, so this is without, uh, you know, flex or without grid. So this is the first uh, way that you can do it. So I'm gonna add a div here. So let me add a div and I'm gonna call it one. All right. Then I'm gonna go to the next one. So, so let me just select it. Okay. So this one will be two, this one, three and four. All right. So now we have four divs and basically uh, what's going on there is you know they are stacked so the default display for it just by looking at it is a uh, block that's why they are stacked so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a class name for each of them actually so i'm going to say one all right so i'm going to just add a class name to each of them so each of them must have a class name so i'll give it a unique class name to this one too And for the last one, the fourth one. Okay. So we have all of them and each of them has a class name. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to say style inside of the head because I'm going to be, uh, you know, typing my CSS here. But if you have an external sheet, that will work too. So the first thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to select the one. So one. And I'm going to change the background color. So the first thing that I'm going to do it just will be just for fun, you know, and I'm going to set the width to 50%. So now there you go. We have a red one. So I can say, for example, float left. All right. So it will be floated to the rift, uh, to the left. So now as you know, as I floated to the left, uh, you know, the next one, the number two, so the div2 will align to the right. So now it's time to select number two. So dot two. All right. And I'm going to select that one too. So I have it selected now. And what I'm going to do is, you know, I'm just going to add the same thing. So background color. So background color. I'll say yellow. All right. So I have it and it's there. So I think I'm, I'm gonna I'm not gonna float this one yet, or at least not yet. I'm gonna say width 50%. So as I add the width 50%, what's going on is you know it becomes stacked because it has the same uh, width. So now we will have to float this one to the right. And as I do it, you'll notice that it will go next to it. So now it's time for the third box. So I'm going to type in dot three. All right. So we are on box three now. And let me change background color just to see what's going on. Okay, aquamarine. And as you notice, it, so we have it there. So I can say float left. Actually, I'm not going to float it yet. All right. Just, just, just to see what's going on. So we have the width 50% and it's aligned to the left by default. But I'm going to add float left here. All right, just to make sure that it will be aligned to the left. So now the last one, I'm going to do the same thing. So dot four, I'm going to select, I'm going to open to braces and I'm going to say background color let's see um let me think of a nice color um about azure azure is really nice so it's close to white but it's okay let me change it to a darker one okay let me just go with orange or something like that okay that should do it okay and you see we have four boxes and they are next to each other perfectly so for the fourth one, you know, you can add the width 
50% to make it 50% and it will be responsive. All right. So I'm going to add the width uh, 50% here and float right. And now we have four boxes. So now, uh, you know, if we want, we can add the content here. For example, I can add more content. All right. And let me just copy this one and paste it a couple of more times. And as you notice, it will just become larger because, you know, based on the content. And I'm going to add some content to the next one. So you see, uh, you know, the height might change based on the content. So my recommendation to you is to simply, let me just undo what I did. Okay. So my recommendation to you is to simply, um, you know, add height to each of them. So for example, I'm going to, let's say that I have, I'm going to use height here. I'm going to say, for example, 400 pixels. So 400 for this one and 400 for two, for three and four. All right. So you see, we have four boxes and uh, you know, each of them have the height of 400 pixels. However, you know, if you are using some padding, uh, you know, if I were, if I was to, for example, add margin here so for example margin two pixels you will notice that it will break it because margin you know is it's, it's added to the width so maybe let's reduce the width so in this case if you are using margins and stuff like that you'll have to reduce the width all right so you'll have to reduce the width and then you'll have to increase the margin so it's up to you. I'll let you decide. But as you know, we have four squares and we have used just plain CSS to accomplish that. So in the next video, I'll basically show you how to accomplish the same thing, but with display grid. So with the grid is a lot easier. All right. So I hope this, you, um, I hope this video was helpful, everyone. Don't forget to like the video and, you know, leave your comments below. And thank you all for watching. I'll see you all later.